Hello and welcome back to this new episode. Now we will test submission and save data into the database. Let's go ahead. So first of all, we need to do some work into the command product.php and the get variable or get widget variable and the submit uh, condition. So right here, I must update these values. So first of all, I will get the get value or tools get value, sorry. So tools get value and I must pass the comment right there. And also, let me just recopy this again because I'm lazy. This will equal to ID product or product ID. I'm not sure. Hopefully I will spell it correctly. So it's ID product. Oops product and the user ID for now I will set it to be like one or something and also I would like to move to command product because some stuff is it like needs some updates right here so first of all the ID command is defined to be um, an auto increment so there is no need to be defined right here because if we submit the form in this current version like it is now then core of PrestaShop will came here and validate the ID command and will look for it to be defined in the in the in the query or the object of the body, which is not the case. So we must remove it. And also, I would like to remove the lang true from these inputs because we don't need to have like user ID for English and for French, etc. So we get rid of these two. I would like also to remove it because the user will only type one time the the command and it won't uh, care to type like uh, English version, French version, Arabic version, etc. And also I would like to get rid of this one. And also one more configuration to do is the multi-lang since we don't really need to have like a multi-lang uh, for this plugin. So turn this to false and everything should be good to go. Now let's go ahead and try this. Let me just refresh this for a second and hopefully uh, I just have to keep the database open it and let's say this is a great product okay great anyway and hit submit let's see what will happen so nothing really happened but I would like really to check into the database because here I where is it I did not set any like uh, success message when save gone well but I would like to check it into the database so I'll look for command comment there you go this is our table and if i look inside it i have id command one user id and i have also a command this is a great product which is really amazing and telling that our script went well now i would like to define a success message and also yet again i will go to um the ui kit right here and search for alert there you go so this is the alert and I will get the small notice for success. I believe it must be on green color. Um, small notice, medium, uh, is it a message, something? Uh, no message, okay. So I'll go for the yellow one or the blue one that is not really like success, but anyway. So here I would like to add an if statement. So if everything went well, so this save will return a true, will return a Boolean. Then I will do dollar. Okay, first of all, I'd like to define like um, let's call this a uh, message. I'd like to define it out of this statement, so it will be equal to null or to nothing. So I'll do if message if save went well, then message will equals to this. Oops, I have to use a single quote. All right, else we could just do whatever alert to something. But right here, this will be okay. But there is a better approach because my idea is to pass this message to the view right here. Okay, so I could do um, message, okay, or result message or message result to get this message. And right here, I could display thought dollar result message or message result. Now, if I move back to the browser, and I do refresh, I must see the message is played correctly, but in HTML format. But this is actually ugly because I don't want to pass like a whole object of HTML in single uh, variable just to pass it to the view. 
the best idea and the best approach is to do the following. So right here, I would like to paste um, the whole HTML, right? And simply pass the message true or false. So right here, I will set it to true. Elsewhere, message will be equal to false, right? So I can do, oops, what, what did happen right now? So this one must be false. I just close it the TPL file. So right here I will do an if dollar message or message result true, then I will do this. Oops, I will actually paste this HTML. Else, else we could pass like uh, something went went wrong here blah, 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 whatever and we must close the slash f all right now let's go ahead and test this out so if i do refresh look what will happen there you go so we have a small notice message press the shop stuff because i did not update that message and i would like to get rid of this material icon and also get rid of this blank and simply um, type thank you for your message or any kind of, of like friendly message. Thank you. Okay, that look better. And also, I think there is a alert success. I believe so. Yep, it does exist. So this will be more beautiful and pleasant and especially significant to the user. There you go. So everything went well. Now I'd like also to check another time that uh, everything is updated into the database. So click and there you go. So that was how to intercept the data from the submission and save it to the database and display a beautiful uh, success message.